How should Cleveland Cavaliers fans view Kobe Altman, the new GM? I'm going to give it to you quick. As a hero. Inexperienced, oh. bold, and with all of Dan Gilbert's GMs, temporary. That's the word for him, temporary. Don't be fooled by this draft trade line, deadline flurry. Come on, look at his whole totality of his work. You did not give Kobe a very long honeymoon yeah. there, bud. Well. Uh, number three, original in the sense that he kind of made a lot of things work here. He didn't just do... What, what about the Kyrie trade? Was that original? Can we wait till I get to number two? All right. Original, and he, he did a lot of different things and pulled it all together, I think, in ways that not every GM would have done. Number two, he's still the guy who traded Kyrie. And, like, <laughs> you have to get out. He has a big hole to dig out of that. Like, probably Kyrie had to be traded, but... He did about as bad as you could do until the Brooklyn pick turns into number one that he's genius again. There you go. Um, and number one, before the deadline, I think if you would have said, who, are the, who is the actual GM of the Cavs? I think Kobe would have been third on that list <laughs> to a lot of people behind LeBron and Dan Gilbert. But I think this made it seem like he's the real GM. Well, listen, you didn't really think Dan Gilbert was sitting there scouting players in the NBA, did you? Not of course Kobe Altman's going to do the groundwork for trades. But Dan's still making the call. But on do you think Dan said, you know what, why don't you do this and get Hill in this package and shump it? Like, do you think, he, you think Dan Gilbert still had a lot oh, of fingerprints? Oh, no, finger no, I, yeah. I, I, don't think, I don't think so at all. But I think he still pulled the trigger on them taking money back and yeah. those kinds of decisions, which I suspected all along. Big picture, it's Dan, mm -hmm. but Kobe is the GM who made it happen.